of these people. I guess you could call them the Illuminati. Well, uh, not all of them necessarily are part of the Illuminati, but they're definitely part of the network. Um, they're, they're going along with the system, and um, uh, they have gone beyond. At first, they were just using this trauma-based mind control on their own people, but they've now expanded it. It's, it's being uh, used on the general population. That was my next question. I have it right here. Mass mind control. Mm -hmm. You're talking about suicide record in the military. It's like six, seven times any previous record. Uh, death education, which they proved teaches kids how to commit suicide, so that number goes up. The psychotropics cause suicide. Then there's more suicide. Then there's more psychotropics. I mean, this is quite a plan they've created, but they admit people go into a dream state when they go into suspended disbelief. I go to a movie now, never suspend disbelief. It's like childlike watching the public watch these movies. Other people, though, TV, anything, they're in a dream state. Describe... Uh, the language is being reduced. People's brainwaves are being lowered. W break down the mass mind control, how that's working. Well, the television is a very effective uh, vehicle, and Anton LaVey said that that was a satanic altar to, to bring Satanism to the general po population. They assault you through it. Yeah, yeah. And um, he's right. They, uh, it's most amazing. I, I've sat there and watched... Christians, they, they're they not even critically thinking. They put in these Walt Disney movies that are just a cult from start to finish and uh, and then feel like they're, they're giving their children something decent. Um, even watching the Olympics, you know, uh, and I'm not trying to say this to criticize anything. I'm just making, uh, raising people's awareness. This Olympics that we have going on, the first song that they that they played, that the orchestra played, was Nimrod. Who is Nimrod? And, and these people, the Rothschilds that I write about in there, they trace their genealogy back to Nimrod. Who was Nimrod? And, and why do we celebrate Christmas when we celebrate it? And well, you know, Let me these, ask you the question. All, all questions people should be asking. Since you bring up the Olympics, for those that didn't watch it, I watched the opening ceremony, like two hours of it. It was nauseating because I was fully conscious watching it. Flashing pyramids, all seeing eyes, eyes on fire, men humping each other, but it's split second. I'm like telling my family, do you see this? They're like, no, what are you seeing? I'm like, well, you're relaxed. Wake up. Right. Women kissing, and the media even covered it later, but they would flash Women, this is little kids are watching this. Women kissing, men humping, pyramids, demons rising, feeding on children in hospital beds. Uh, three different audios at once to overwhelm the conscious mind. Explain what's happening there because it's, I mean it's overt mind control. But like you said, it was what you what you said. It was total fusion. I. After about an hour and a half, I had to go out of the room, and I kept coming back, and I said, that's it, let's turn it off. I was becoming physically ill because it was just this banging and clanging. And my mom's like, why is it so horrible? Why is it? And I was like, that's the point. And, and then after two or three horrible songs, they would play something cute like Chariots of Fire with a goofy guy jogging, and that was the rest, and the torture, and then it would, go, it would come back in. Exactly. Uh, and what you have is several levels of things happening. One is, is you have your generalized mass mind control where they're, where they're making the, the general population dissociative and planting things in. Um, but then there's, there's a deeper thing where these people here that uh, are under the Illuminati's total mind control, they're embedding triggers, they're embedding programming symbols and stuff in there also in that kind of stuff. And also, they use watershed events like Princess Die or 9/11. They use watershed events in the these people's mind control time clocks. They've got a, a an internal time clock because they're all programmed to do some little part in this whole big long script, and those are controlled by major events. So the there's no way that the mind control victim is not going to hear about like the shooting that just happened and that shooting that just happened in Denver is going to then cause cause his little internal clock to turn a little bit so that at a certain point now he's going to do his little part in this big script that they have it's a it's very orchestrated. You know, we talk about, and uh, they say, well, it wasn't time for this invention. 
as I was working with the deprogramming of people, I was, I was shocked to discover they were actually programming inventions into people, programming this person over here to accidentally meet this person, and then synergistically all of this uh, scripted thing, and it looks like... That sounds crazy, but they, they admit this. They're into playing God. Why do they... I mean, I have my ideas about it, because I've studied uh, classic black magic that they follow, so I understand them. They believe in lesser magic. You have to build the model of it, burn a ship before you really burn it a month later, uh, kill a, a effigy of a child before you really do it. They believe that magnifies the power hundreds of times, so that's why they always tell us in movies and TV exactly what they're going to do, like 9-11, like they had shows where the government flies a plane in the building to have martial law to attack Afghanistan, they use a drill to make it stand down, but it can also be an open threat to other governments, hey, see, we really did this. Explain why they always have to tell you what they're going to do. Uh, well, you, you did a good job right there, and another reason is, is, is these people that are, are trapped in the mind control, if they do want to break free, they're just told, look, we showed them exactly what we were going to do, and did anybody do anything about it? I mean, you think that you're going to escape from us when our symbol is on the back of every dollar bill? You know, you walk into every federal building and there's our symbol? So it's gang tagging. Yeah, They're saying, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like this is our, you know, Sauron symbols, the all-seeing eye. Yeah. We're in control. Right. You figure that out yet? We'll do what right. we want. All right. We'll even show them what we're going to do, and they're not going to do anything. And you can't run from us. We're everywhere. We're the all-seeing eye. You know, they, they, like you say, they're wanting to play God. They want their, their little slaves to think that, that they're omniscient, omnipotent. Um, of course, we know that there is a God, and he's much bigger than them, and they can think that they're God, but they're not. Well, yeah, because they're following a dark force, but also they're still just people. They're, they're trying to control everything, but they're not in control of themselves. True. And uh, just the mere fact that you and I are still here and operating is proof that there is a God. <laughs> I agree with you. It's yeah. certainly, I mean, we certainly get persecuted. And I haven't been persecuted like you have, and I'm, I don't need to be tested like Job. I know all, all, all good things are from God. I don't think they're coming from me, but uh, I tell you, it, it, it is just fantastical to see how much stuff we thought was conspiracy and we weren't sure about is now just out in the open. Why is everything coming so out in the open now? Well, uh, there was a book that Alice Bailey wrote, Externalization of the Hierarchy, and she explained that that's what the Illuminati hierarchy wanted to do. They wanted to take what they were doing in secret, and they wanted to, to turn it over to, and, and, and put it to the public arena. And so now we see all of these Illuminati hand signs. We see all of these occult symbols that become popular. And uh, that's what they wanted to do. They're, they, she said that they're going to, uh, they're going to create a world religion. Basically, it's a, a witchcraft religion. And you'll notice that you can go to all kinds of stores, your fast food places, and so forth, and they will promote witchcraft on on their bags that they give you the the hamburger in, or or their placemats, or the toys that they sell. But if, if someone were to try to, like if you went to Wendy's and they put Christ on the bag that they gave you the hamburger and people would protest. And yet they can promote witchcraft and, and it's acceptable. It's, it's quite amazing the extent that uh, they have conditioned the public. And then they've got all these well-meaning people that go, oh, I'm into white witchcraft. They don't understand the roots of it. Go to the roots of the Illuminati religion because when I interrupted you, we're getting into... The opening thing being Nimrod, the beginning of their great work, and the Rothschilds, you know, tracing themselves back to Nimrod, and they say that, um, you know, uh, and of course, then they think they're Merovingians too, back to Christ and all this. You know, the the, the, the child with Mary Magdalene, they claim happened. You know, the, the, the Holy Grail type business. Who do they really think they are? Who who you know, who is the you know who are the Illuminati? And uh, what are if they have their way, what is the world they're going to build? Well, the, the members that I was working with would, would tell me that at the high-level meetings, they were actually receiving instructions from Satan. And uh, Christians can accept that, but non-Christians might find that startling. Um, I'm just sharing, you with, uh, sharing with, with the audience what I was told. They would describe these encounters and what would happen. And uh, if we think of what, 
the Bible says about Satan is that he had been given as a cherub this planet, and then God kind of uh, ignored him in a sense by turning over dominion to, of this planet to, to humankind, and he told uh, Adam and Eve, he said, you know, you are to take care of this, this is a garden, you're to, you know, I'm giving you dominion over things, and uh, so we see this incredible jealousy to dis which translates into the desire to destroy the human race, and when I look at their agenda, it doesn't look to me like a human agenda, it looks like uh, whether you want to call them evil aliens or, or demonic or whatever, this agenda is for the destruction of the human race. And our DNA is being fried. Exactly. The sperm counts. I mean, they're killing us. We're in deep trouble. Yeah, it, it's genocide. No flesh would be left if, if God is there. Exactly. Being. It's a genocidal. Uh, that's one reason why uh, I'm standing up and doing what I have been doing is because I'm just one little insignificant person. But but their agenda is horrific and so w when you see the magnitude of what the uh, of the evil that they have planned and, and like you've been talking about the pedophilia and and abuse of the children and the white slavery and so forth um how can a person not stand up and say hey enough is enough and notice how they're exposes. openly saying yeah, we kill people. Yeah, we torture people. Yeah, we do sexual things to them in the torture. Uh, HBO recently puts on shows during the family hour showing four-year-old girls doing things I can't say on air. But it's okay for them to do it. Uh, they could just bombard during the Olympics. I mean, there is this, it's not about tolerance. It's not about freedom. They want to hurt people. They want to destroy innocence. Everything I read about the devil, that's them. Yeah. So even if the devil doesn't exist, as some atheists believe, whatever, it's manifesting through these people. Yes, and then the good, nice front cover for Satan is Lucifer. Lucifer is said to be the light bearer. And then an even better front cover for Lucifer is Prometheus. And I w I'm surprised that they haven't promoted Prometheus before now. They've, they've just recently come out with a, a film, Prometheus, um, so we're seeing a lot of Prometheus yeah, iconography. Yeah. Because that's the good front for Lucifer. Yeah, he's the guy that gives fire to the humans. The, who gives knowledge and wisdom. Right. He's defying the gods. But the devil up. always seeks to actually control and dumb down. So explain that riddle of the Bible that, that, that Lucifer wants to give us knowledge. Well, he really doesn't. As you know, um, we're paid in counterfeit. Uh, he pays in counterfeit. Everything's a fraud. It's a twisted knowledge. Exactly. Uh, you know, uh, like you were saying earlier on your on your show, what's right is is now seen as wrong, and what was wrong is now right. Everything's upside down. So all this great wisdom and knowledge that they have is really dumb. You know, they, 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 well, yeah, because man had the perfect knowledge of being with the Creator and in God's creation and being good and pure. The knowledge of good and evil was evil hadn't even entered the equation, so the twisted knowledge or the virus yeah, exactly. was injected. That's yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we're look. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, these people are not bringing us enlightenment. They're they're bringing destruction, and they promise freedom, but they're actually giving slavery. It's just like like the toys you have out there. I saw, you know, that they're selling in, in the stores. Peacekeepers. And they're soldiers, you know. Well, it they're says government. world government peacekeepers. <laughs> None of them say U.S. anymore. And they all have hateful looks on their faces. <laughs> yeah. This, this is a real peacekeeper here. He's going to Can somebody run out, since we mentioned that, and, like, grab those off the table by broadcast studio? Yeah, yeah. That's great. Man, I tell you, time is just boiling past us here. Let uh, Continue with, with other people.